buy a firearm here. The other day I did an unboxing of this folding firebox nano that I got from Steve over at uh, Firebox, Folding Firebox. He sent me his prototype to play with. Pretty cool little thing. What I want to do today, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know anytime I get a wood stove, I always like to test it out with other alternatives for the fire instead of, you know, if you get stuck somewhere in a storm or something, that you always have something else to be able to use this with. So I thought I'd do my first one with the Mini Trangia. Now putting this in here, it fits perfectly, but the distance between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is about one and three quarter inches, which is a, a little bit large, long for the uh, sweet spot, the one inch that I like to try to keep it, uh, the pot to the stove, pot to the burner rather. But, you know, you could raise it up with something like this. Now this one's a little bit too big to fit down in here, but uh, you could raise it up with something like this, which also might make for better airflow. I mean, the holes that are in here are great for wood. I don't know if you can see this. It doesn't reflect much. There we go. Hole there. Feed hole here. Breathing holes. Oops, can you see it? There you go. And breathing holes here. And then on the bottom, there are five big air holes, which should be great for wood. But, I don't know, I'm going to have to see what happens here. This may shut off the airflow, putting this down in here. So raising it up a little bit might just help. One other thing with this, Steve had mentioned that when I put this out, it looked like it was wobbling a little bit. I guess in shipping, the legs got shoved down, so you have to push them back up. These are just soft wire on this prototype, but on the, the uh, what do you call it, the real stove, it'll be stainless steel wires. So let me get my water prepped, make sure I got enough alcohol in here. And I'll be back for a quick test. Okay, my water's just about set. Let me light this. Okay, this uh, stove really uh, absorbs the light. I'm hoping that it'll pick up on this camera. But uh, I'm going to try it this time without raising the Trangia in this. See what happens. I may have to make a little cross piece to fit in there. But Okay, I've got... A blossom now. My temperature is at 59 degrees, but I'm going to go with that. No, there it goes. So, two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. We're now at two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. I think you can see it's a pretty nice flame, a little on the yellow side. I think it might be time for me to clean this uh, Trangia. Although the yellow is always on that, it seems. But, uh, I don't know, let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210, 211, 212, and 525, let's say. Well, that was fast. 525. Okay. So that was two cups of water, starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature is 79 degrees, humidity uh, 70, what's it say, 73, a little bit humid out here, it's raining outside, so what one thing I did, at, anyway, that was uh, two cups of water, five minutes, 25 seconds, not bad, I think this may be getting enough air, the holes on the side, the top holes are about even with the ledge on the Trangia, and it seems to be burning, it's focusing it in and up. So maybe I don't need to add a cross piece in there to elevate it a little bit. Well, that's pretty cool. Now I'll have to try this with some other stoves or other uh, things like Espit and whatnot. See what it does with that. And then when it stops raining, I'll take this outside and do a burn test with it. So this is the 3-inch folding firebox stove, the Nano. Uh, I'll put the specifications down below. It's called a 3 inch because it's 3 inches wide about height is 4.75 inches folded it's about a quarter inch tall the weight is 5.6 ounces and made of stainless steel I'll leave a link to the uh, site where Steve has a pre-order thing with these things where you can pre-order it for 29.99 
instead of I think it's going to be thirty nine ninety nine. So I'll leave a link for that. So far, it's looking like a pretty cool soap. Oh, one other thing I did was I had these legs pointing out, and that was wasn't real steady for this pot. So what I did was I bent them in so that they're parallel with the sides of the uh, stove. And the pot was on there perfectly then. But you can adjust these to put uh, smaller pots in, larger pots on this. Now this is only soft wire, so I'm not going to put a real heavy pot on here. But when it's the stainless steel wires, um, it should be able to take all kinds of, well, you know, up to a certain point, all kinds of weight. But this is interesting. I also have another project in mind that I want to do with a refillable <coughs> Trangia burner, which with this extra space underneath might give me the, the area that I need. So that's going to be coming up. But I thank Steve for sending this to me and let me play with it. I thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.